How long have you been doing art? I've been doing art as long as I can remember. I think I was probably a toddler begging my mom to make projects with me. So it's been a long time. When did you know that was something you wanted to pursue as your, your path? Well, I've always tried to make time for art, whether it was when my kids were little, I incorporated them into art projects, or whether it was cooking, or home improvement, or sewing, or something like that. Um, but for the last 10 years, I've really focused on oil painting and tried to make it more of a serious career. What is your primary focus when you're oil painting? What is, what's your inspiration? Well, I try to find important um, light and shadow in my work. I think it's really the job of an artist is to find how light plays off of the angles and shape of an object. So that's what I try to do is find good light and shadow. And to me, that's the most inspiring. Is this your first year involved with Charlotte Shout? It is, it is. I've been involved with Art Pop, but not with Art, um, not Charlotte Shout, so. And how is that interaction with people who aren't necessarily in the art world coming and experiencing it firsthand with you? I enjoy it because I think it's wonderful to have families with young children to come up and they show them the art being made or, you know, different types of art. and. It's wonderful when a child says, I like to paint too, and they get to talk to an artist or see it being made, and you can just see that the wheels are turning, and they often say, I want to do that too, and the parents are like, okay, as soon as we get home, so you know they're inspired, and that's awesome. Getting them young, getting them started yeah, young, right? Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, what have you seen in Charlotte's blossoming of the arts over the last five, ten years? Well, I have been on the board for Art Pop, and I'm president of the Guild of Charlotte Artists, so I know that it's important for arts to be supported. And we've tried really hard to do that, but we're getting really good feedback, and we're seeing more people joining these organizations. They're saying, we want more of that, we want the support, we want the camaraderie, we want the opportunities that those organizations afford, and so I think it's just getting better and better. How long are you going to be at the Art Pop Lounge for Charlotte Show? I'll be here tonight until about 5.30 and tomorrow from 11 to 7. What does it mean to you to see people come in and purchase something you've made to put on their wall? Uh, I mean, that it's so flattering. And I mean, it's every piece I make is sort of like sending a child off to college or something. And so when somebody wants that in their home, it's like I've, I've succeeded. I've, you know, made somebody inspired by my work or you know happy or brings out some kind of um, connection and I love that that's really gratifying great and if people wanted to keep up with you outside of the art pop lounge and outside of Charlotte shout how would they do that they can find me on Instagram on TikTok, on my website marycamera.com um, they could Google me. <laughs> Good. That's right. She just said Google me. Uh, my Google drop. me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Stop by and see Miss Mary tonight through 7 p.m. Yep. Thank you so I'll be much. Here. Thank you.